Hi, this is Laura Rogers, and today I'm going to talk about showing content from multiple document libraries on your SharePoint site all in one list together. You'll see that on this site, I have several different document libraries, and I have created a blank web part page that I've opened up in SharePoint Designer. So the goal here is to take several different document libraries and show all the documents together in one when we use a data view web part for this. So the concept that we're going to use is called link sources. So we have our data source library on our site. In our data source library, the very last section on the bottom is called link sources. We can expand that, that section and click to create a new linked source. This is how we're going to merge together those document libraries. So I configure the linked source and I simply select the document libraries that I want to be displayed together. So first I'm going to pick finance reports and policies and I choose the default of merge to merge the contents into one list. Click finish and then I can give my data source, of prop, uh, data source properties Give it a name. When I click OK, you'll see that now I've got a new link source listed down here. And I can click to show that data. And in the data source details, it will let me not only toggle between those two libraries I've linked, but also scroll to, scroll to look at all the records that exist in those libraries. I'm going to take just the name field and drag it into that empty web part zone. So now you'll see that in this finance reports library, there's only one document it's called policy template. And um, I also mer and I merged that together with all the list of policies in this other document library. Go back over to SharePoint Designer and you can see that policy template is listed along with all the other files, they're all listed together. In my merge source, I'd like to add, just throw one more document library in there. So all I have to do is configure the link source and simply click add to add that library. Finish and OK. And now I have added the contents of all three libraries listed in one list. I would like each of these items to be a hyperlink to actually open that document. So I use the URL path. So, and I want the name of the document to be displayed. Save and go back over and find that blank web part page that I created. And see what we have. So now we have a list of all these documents together and I can click on any one of those to open the document. 